I'm now working on possibly the world's smallest little cardigan. When I left you last, I had just that small back panel and I was showing you how to pick up stitches for the saddles. So what I've done now is I've picked up those stitches from the side and cast on the front one and done this little saddle on the left side. And I did the same over here. At that point, I put, you know, they were both on waist yarn and then picked up stitches along the bottom here, put those stitches that were live on the needle and did that one here and knit just a couple of inches down here. Then set that aside and came back. Sorry, it's a lot of extra yarn here and did the same on this front and did the same on this front. Then joined the left front, cast on underarm here, worked across the back, cast on the right front and then did this side as well. So a teeny tiny little cardigan. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how the top of the sleeve will work. So what you're going to have here is you'll have your live stitches and then you'll have the sleeve opening. On the other side, what I've done is starting in the middle of the bottom here, picked up stitches to here, worked those stitches and then picked up stitches here. Now the position I'm in is from there, I turned on the wrong side row, worked up to here, then the last picked up stitch and this one I purled together on the wrong side. That's so that you don't have this little gap where they join. Worked right across to the last of the stitches here and purled that one together with that picked up stitch. And this is where I'm at over here. You can see as well that I'm using Magic Loop with super long cord, which I find much easier for operating with on this. If you like double pointed needles, then go right ahead and do the double pointed needles. So I've reached the point now where I've just done that knit two together and the next one is going to be the first wrap and turn. So I slip my stitch purl wise with my, and my yarns in front here, bring it back to the other side and slip that stitch back. Then I will turn my work and start working back along this way. Uh, you can see these were originally my saddle stitches. I'm just going to keep working away in saddle. These two were going to change. And where am I here? This one is going to be cable. Do my cable without the cable needle. Slip those two on. Pop that over. Because you can see you're actually continuing on with your... Um, with your cable, your sleeve cable here um, as you're working the saddle. I haven't got markers in but you probably want to go ahead and make sure you've got markers in for where your cable is here. Now and you can see what I've done is I've put my break in my magic loop somewhere in the middle here. Uh, so I'm going to go work over to the next side here. Do my cable here. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, um, and probably if, once I've gone a little further on, if I was working on the full one, put the whole lot of the cable on one side of your magic loop so that you're not having to move your stitches back and forth when you're doing, um, when you're trying to work the cable. So I'm almost at the end of the cable here. And this is where we're going to get started on working our, this is the one that had previously been knit two together. I'm going to knit that and then I'm going to wrap and turn the next one. My yarn's in the back this time. Just leave it where it is. Slip the stitch purl wise. Bring the yarn from the back to the front. Move that stitch over. Turn around and bring the yarn back in between because I'm going to have to work that purl stitch. Now this is the point that will make a big difference in your work. I've purled the first one. Before I move on, stop and give a good tug. You want that yarn to be as tight as possible because that's what's going to stop a gap forming here. And then I'm going to work back over here. So I'm not going to do any more, but you know how to do the wrap and turn on each side now. When you encounter the wrap stitch, which you can see here, the wrap over here, just ignore the wrap, 
knit or purl the stitch and wrap the next stitch and then you'll come back and you'll do the same thing here. You're going to ignore that, just knit that as an ordinary stitch, wrap the next stitch and every time you come back you will be working one more stitch so every single stitch going down here is going to have a wrap and that's why we don't pick the wraps up because they actually look very attractive when you have an entire row of wraps working down here and it's also got a second benefit in that if you miss a stitch you'll very quickly see because there'll be a wrap missing in one of them so it's like a little safety mechanism to help you check where the you know to make sure you haven't missed a row in your back and forth so that's how you work a saddle shoulder at the top with a short row set in sleeve uh, combined mm -hmm.